Okay, my name is Josh, and I want to start by saying thanks to Storm Drain, JD from Tyet, and the Paracordis. There are one or two others, don't call their names right now, but I'll put their names in the info section. I've got three sticks that I've made, two for my father, one for my little sister. Um, they decided they wanted one after seeing mine. Basically what we have here is two that are sassafras, order from Treeline, uh, treelineusa.com. Um, first one's going to be my dad, as in he was, uh, he was in the army. My younger brother's a marine, and I'm in the air force. So we've got emblems inset, also from Treeline. We've got wounded paracord. All the paracord you see is 550. Um, several different sites, just for different colors. We've got the long Turk's head. Don't ask me what the um, what the technical term is because I I don't recall with the bites and the and the turns and all that. Um, but it has three passes, mostly. You see, there are a couple spots where I fouled up, but. Thought it still looked good. Uh, black with the olive drab running through it. Now this is just straight wrapped with uh, a strand run weaved in and throughout it with functional loops. I've got a leather lanyard, I believe also from Treeline. Their website kind of got me uh, going into all the accessories. I uh, like that because it's not the raw hide, it's actually tanned. Um, nice, nice thick quality. I've used polyurethane on all these, spray can polyurethane. Again, straight wrapped with a design, a diamond design. The single strand ring bolt hitch. On down to the base, again from Treeline has a very thick, pretty sharp spike. Um, the threaded end comes to about, uh, I'd say about here, inside the stick. Um, now it normally comes with a brass base, uh, or ferrule cap, which the spike will screw into the bottom of. I left it off on this one because I like the detail on the stick. Uh, it just screws right on there. It's got a uh, nice aluminum anchor inside, really high quality. On the second stick, this one took a little bit more time. Um, I have two single string ring bolt hitches. A little bulky, but give the look I wanted. Then I've got two snake weaves, or a uh, two color snake weave on either side to a wide Solomon bar for the lanyard. Worked really well. Um, just need to work it a little bit to get it nice and flexible. Uh, still really stiff. Uh, you know, it's nice and supportive. You want to make sure that you anchor this really well up here so it doesn't pull out. Then on to the hand grip. Um, you're going to see three main, oh, a few few main weaves that I did. Uh, on this one, I've got two wide Solomon bars here and here which I laced together. Um, if you decide to do this one, watch out for when you lace it, it will try to pull one side higher because of the slant. And they are laced with a third, but the lacing is a little bit looser. I've got it sewn down here, um, but they are laced underneath this snake weave with a, a looser strand. Then I've got um, a start out as a gotcha knot, but before you go through to make it look like that, um, you just do three passes on it. Basically, another Turk's head. My dad requested this one be able to break down so he could put it in his luggage. Uh, I just about gave up on it. I had an anchor inside there with an all thread but just was not strong enough and when I was about to give up on it I came across an instructable where a guy used copper pipe fitting. Uh, keep in mind 
it's got the uh, the the flaring thread. I don't recall the actual term for it, but the thread flares as it goes down, so it's never going to screw all the way down. Uh, you could probably find a coupler to cover up those extra threads, but I just went with it. Um, I've got a couple screws underneath the paracord just to give it a little bit of extra strength, and I used uh, JB Weld to epoxy everything in place. Again, down to yeah, another gaucho Turks knot type deal um, with another spike on to oh yeah um, we've got from uh, budk.com lots of stuff on that website uh, in their internet catalog uh, this is their survival whistle or multi-tool has a whistle uh, LED flashlight thermometer uh, and compass and then it breaks apart it has a signal mirror and a magnifying glass. Very handy, pretty cheap, um, good stocking stuffer. This stick here is, I believe, Chinese Ironwood uh, from BUDK.com. Um, and I've got the uh, Celtic Tree of Life knot for the most part. Um, another gaucho knot with the snake weave. Yet another. Um, Turk's head weave, Turk's head knot. Uh, it's going to have four passes, uh, three different colors. It's going to have uh, olive drab, orange, and rainbow. Uh, functional loop. Again, it's polyurethane. <clears throat> if you can find them, uh, it's a handy little deal to have. This rubber ring here expands to go over the top of a, a 20 ounce bottle. It's very handy. You put on here, you can just take it off the clip and clip on your belt or what have you. Just a straight wrap, kind of break up the stick a little bit. Um, and once again, another gaucho knot. The brass tip here, I actually gotten for the, the second stick in case I needed to reduce it a little bit, but ended up not needing to. So instead of waiting to order another one of these, I just took the reducer, I think this is a one inch to three quarter or something similar. Um, just regular copper fitting. Took my Dremel with the uh, disc, cutting disc, and get this where you can see a little better. <clears throat> and basically just cut some notches into it. Um, and then do a little bit of angle grinding on it. A couple of the uh, nails that come with the um, caps here. And on a smooth floor, I've actually found that this will hold on a smooth garage floor up to 45 degrees, which I was kind of impressed by.